Good day to everyone, especially to my fellow Bicolanos. Today we are celebrating the solemnity, the feast of our Ina, the Lady of Peña Francia. Let us implore her maternal care during these troubled times. Let us ask her to comfort those who are in despair and victims of this pandemic. Let us plead for her guidance to show us a shelter where we could find a heaven of peace and safety. Again, this is Reflection. Reflection with Father Reno De La Rosa. Ina, the most common and endearing name of Our Lady of Peña Francia in Bicol region. She is the patroness of Bicol region, whom everyone has entrusted their life under her maternal protection. Every month of September is an event to be remembered and celebrated due to its affinity to the feast of Our Lady of Peña Francia. The Dice of Basbate has also its own celebration in honor of our Ina, namely the parish of Our Lady of Peña Francia in Puru, Aruroy, whose feast day we have just celebrated on the 8th of September. St. Anthony de Padua Parish here in Masbati City. Our Lady of Remedies Parish in Placer. St. Vincent Pereira in Katayngan. And also St. Peter and Paul in Uson, Masbate. Several other barrios of some parishes whose patron saint is also our Ina, the Lady of Peña Francia, express their love for our Blessed Mother during their fiesta. What makes this festivity so special is its connection to the motherhood of Mary. She is our Ina, a loving mother who would do anything to get us out from the peril of death. She is our genuine model of humanity's limitations. She has kept everything in her heart, the things that she never understood. All she did was to obey faithfully God's design for her. More importantly, she listens and ponders God's words. Today, the whole Bicol region is celebrating the solemnity of Our Lady of Peña Francia. Unfortunately, the festive and illustrious mode of this celebration in Naga City has been curtailed due to the health risk of this pandemic. Yet we still have all the reasons to celebrate with great joy this day because our heart has kept on yearning for the loving embrace of our Ina, the Lady of Peña Francia. A dreadful threat cannot just subdue our heart's desire to be at the side of our Blessed Mother. Her abiding presence is a sure sign of comfort in the midst of fear and tribulations. Her gentle and motherly touch is our refuge when things are getting out of hand. A simple voice within somehow resembles her comforting assurance that she will not abandon us, especially in times of unforeseen disorder. She is a true mother who feels what we feel, who suffers pain when we are in deep trouble, and who delights with us every victory we may have accomplished. Hence, our jubilant celebration today 
resides in the deepest portion of our heart. Nothing could take the joy away from us, not even the peril of this pandemic. For true joy is not the absence of fear and natural calamities. Rather, it is the presence of someone who loves that makes all the difference. Mary, our Ina, had been forewarned by Simeon in our Gospel reading that her heart would be pierced by the faith which has been destined to happen in her beloved son, Jesus. Such events may take place according to the plan of God so that the thoughts of many hearts will be revealed, Simeon said. Our Ina, the Lady of Peña Francia, had been the witness of these salvific events accomplished by Jesus. Her heart was truly pierced when she saw her son hanging on the cross. She has been foretold in the biblical traditions, particularly in the book of Genesis, as the new Eve, for she has brought new life to humanity when she embraced God's plan for her to be the mother of His only Son, Jesus Christ. The darkness of sin caused by the fall of our first parents has been vanquished by the dawn of new light in the womb of our Blessed Mother. Jesus Christ is the light of the world. He is the Son of Mary, the head of the Church. So we, the body of Christ, or the Church, is also the children of Mary. We are under her maternal protection. She has been designated by her son to bring us closer to him. As a mother, all she has ever wanted is to keep us embedded in her son. She just wants us to be with God for the rest of our life. If ever we fall due to our own personal weakness, she is always there, ready, to get us back to Jesus. Viva la Virgen! Our Lady of Peña Francia, our Ina, pray for us. Reflection with Father Reynold De La Rosa.